Alrighty, you guys. So today, we're about to do a crazy wake and bake. Um, I just went to the smoke shop and got one of these giant <laughs> raw cone, um, raw cones. I think I can stuff about 10 grams in this bitch. So we're gonna have a great wake and bake. I got my Bentley Blaze grinder here. The weed I'm smoking on is really good. I recently got a new plug and I get shit from dispensaries in Michigan now and it's really good. There's two different strains in here. I forget what they are, but like honestly, I, I'm the type of person if the weed's good and it gets me high, I don't give a shit. All right, you guys, let's get this shit sparked. I'm so excited to smoke this. I believe there's probably about 10 grams in this, this baseball bat here. Cheers. Hell yeah. <laughs> Every time I smoke one of these at first, it's really hard to get going because there's so much airflow. But once you get past this part, it starts really hitting. You just gotta get it going. Hell yeah, you guys. There's nothing like starting the morning off with a big joint and a walk in nature. Today is November 10th. 2023 and this morning i woke up really early um i did a merch drop two days ago so i've been packing hella orders shipping hella orders and i'm actually wearing it right now so this is my new merch you guys this design is so sick i drew this up a few months ago the design and i sent it to my dude um and he made the graphic and it's so cool because it's all my tattoos combined into one and it says stfu and blaze which is what my website is stfuandblaze.com so if you guys want to cop it i have them in stock um, i've literally been shipping orders same day that they're placed um so yeah i'm excited and this is my first merch drop i've done in a while and i just am so grateful for you guys for supporting and buying it um and i can't wait to see you guys wearing it too so if you want to cop stfuandblaze.com we got hoodies tees long sleeves all that shit Oh my gosh. You guys, this is smoking like crazy. I love these. Every time I do smoke one, I always think about that video of the dude where he's like holding it here and he's smoking on it and all of it just shoots out onto the ground. <laughs> Every time I fucking smoke one of these, I think that's gonna like happen to me. On this walking trail, there's like this big ass tunnel. <laughs> Holy shit, and it's really windy in here because all the wind's like flying through it because it's like a breezeway. This is smoking real nice. And the sun finally came out. For being November, it's honestly like really warm. It's in the 70s. Literally the perfect weather and smoke spot. I love this bridge. Cause there's like nice water down here. I mean, this looks so fucking peaceful. Look at that shit. That's like a painting <laughs> with a joint. It is the next day. Today um, is November 12th. And I cut the vlog of me smoking this yesterday short because I got the worst migraine ever. I woke up with like a little headache yesterday. And after I smoked this on that hiking trail, it just turned into a full blown mi migraine. I almost said Minecraft. <laughs> it turned into a fucking migraine. And I was literally stuck in bed and on the couch like all day yesterday. I had the worst headache. It was like in my eyes and my forehead and it was just like fucking brutal bitch <laughs> so i was like i'm not i'm just gonna like take the rest of the day off and uh this is what we're left with but this bitch is still smoking but anyways you guys today's gonna be a very special very fun vlog it is november 12th and today is the day that christian and i met two years ago so it's our two-year anniversary and uh, he's over here reading a book wrapped in a blanket 
<laughs> so we're gonna spend our anniversary um, doing some fun shit today. So we're about to drive like an hour and a half to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which is where like the Dollywood area is. And like, it's like Southern fucking Vegas. So we're gonna have a fun day. Um, there, we're gonna explore. There's like this really cool diner place that we wanna go to. It looks really vintage and like from the 50s. So we're gonna, we're gonna have a fun day and I'm gonna smoke, smoke the rest of the day too, as we go. Cause fuck it. I found my lighter leash. Um, <laughs> this morning and I'm like so happy because I lose all my lighters and this is like genius. This shit crazy. So yeah, today I am wearing more of my merch. Let's just start off with the basics. I got my white tee on, my new design. Yo, this shit is so cool. So I love to wear, when I wear cardigans like this, I always wear like a white graphic tee under. There's like a basic white tee. I think it looks the best. Um, and I've been, you know, addressing like this for years, if you guys have watched me, but I think my merch, like when I was designing this merch, I was thinking about wearing it with my cardigans. And now that I have it, I'm like, holy shit, this is like so beautiful. And I'm just obsessed with it. It's so comfy. All of the material, I got heavyweight cotton for the hoodies, long sleeves, and the t-shirts. So they feel nice and heavy and they, they're just like so nice. I love these so much. Um, so if you guys do want to cop, stfumblaze.com. And I'm doing a code right now to where if you use Blaze 15 at the checkout, you can get 15% off of your entire order. So that'd be nice. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing my Obey cardigan over that and then just some black slacks and my Vans. Very simple outfit, but it's very comfy. Um, I'm feeling cute. Oh my God. This gave me the chills. <laughs> so we're in the car now and we're on our way. We have about an hour and 30 minutes of driving. I just went to Taco Bell and got a snack because these are the best. I've been obsessed with these the past, like, honestly, like the past three, four, five months. I get one of these almost every day and it is a grilled chicken chipotle burrito. It's like a $2 burrito and it's so good. I always coat it in fire sauce and there's chicken, lettuce, these like Southwest chips and pico in it. I, it's just so good. In a Q&A I did recently, someone asked if I could have unlimited food from one place forever, where would it be? And I said Taco Bell because of this fucking burrito. <laughs> By the way, you guys, Christian is driving since I am fried. And I also brought that big ass joint. Hell yeah, y'all. All right, so we're about an hour away and we just pulled off on the side of the road um, to this spot that I used to always come to to smoke. So I used to make this drive um, from my hometown to um, a Home Depot on the way to Pigeon Forge, which is where like Dollywood and stuff is, like I said earlier. Um, but I used to drive on this road a lot every day and on my way to work at Home Depot, if you guys remember that video where I talked about the police came to my house, um, it was like when I first started smoking, it was because I quit Home Depot and I didn't tell them why and they thought like I had wrecked or like something happened to me. So they sent the, p the police to my house to check on me, um, which is insane. I'd never known of like a job or like any place to do that. But <laughs> anyways, um, this was, you know, I used to come here when I would work there before I quit. Every day before work and like smoke a blunt. Oh, this shit looks crazy. So there's like this like lake down here and I would always Pull my little bug. If you guys remember the Volkswagen I would drive, I'd always pull it down here and hop out with my blunt and then come down here. It's actually a really, a really pretty spot. I was gonna smoke this in the car while Christian drove, but we're about to go to Dutch Bros. And you know how they like come to the window and then they'll sit there and talk to you for like 20 minutes. Like Dutch Bros workers love to talk like while they're making your coffee. I know it's like part of their job. It's just like, it's crazy. I didn't want the car to smell like weed while, you know, all the awkward conversations were going on. But yeah, y'all, this joint's still hitting, hitting real nice too. There's like some dude out there on a boat.
Thank you. Of course. Thank you. You too. You guys, look how fucking good. First of all, the people at Veg Bros are so fucking nice. Like every time they're so nice. Anyways, look at this. This is a camp out cold brew. It is delicious. They give a little design on top. Dutch Rose is probably my favorite coffee, but it's like rare that I'm around one. What did you get? I got the Merry Mischief Red Bull. I uh, just needed an energy drink. This is a Red so. Bull? Uh, Rebel. Rebel. So this is crazy. I'm guessing that is like a play on words and it does have Red Bull. This is in Code it. Red Mountain Dew. Mm. That's so good. Holy Damn. shit. So we just pulled up at the, the diner and it's designed to be like a 1950s diner so i'm really excited to eat it it's like all chrome outside it's really pretty and they have it decorated for christmas i'm also really really high i have the munchies because i finished off that giant joint you guys this is so cool because the menu is on like an old newspaper to find cacti. If you guys remember a few years ago when Travis Scott released the seltzer, uh, his cacti seltzer, those were so good. And I did like a review video on them on this channel um, when I was living in Denver. I would like drink them all the time. They'd get me so fucked up. But then Astro World happened and they discontinued them. And I was like, fuck, I really like drinking them. And I was sad when they took them away. But now he's coming back out with them. If you follow Travis on Instagram, you've probably seen him like teasing the pictures of the new cacti that he's come out with, and it's in all new flavors, all new packaging. Um, so I called up my the local like wine and spirit here in Knoxville, like the Total Wine, and the lady on the phone said that they had them in stock, and the website says they had them in stock. However, Travis hasn't announced that they're actually back, and when you go on the cacti website, it's still like blank. Like you can't even buy them on the website. So I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on them today, and hopefully I can try these out. We're at the Total Wine. We're gonna see if they have the cacti. I really hope they do. We actually found it. So there's Tropical Twist, Citrus Haze, Paradise Slice, and Berry Splash. And these are all new flavors, so I'm excited. I am so excited to try these. Fucking Sunny D vodka seltzers look insane. I bet they're good though. All right, you guys, we are back home now. Like I said earlier, we got the cacti. I'm gonna try these out with y'all. After I left the alcohol store, I went to Trader Joe's. <laughs> I was out of my Trader Joe's phase. You guys know I was obsessed like a few months back. I made like a video on it on my other channel. Um, I'm also about to roll up a blunt, but I forgot my weed in the car. So I'm gonna go down there and get my weed and my blunt wrap um, to roll that. But I'm gonna give you guys a grocery haul because I got some things. Since it's Christmas season, Trader Joe's has some new things I wanted to try. First things first, I saw this. This is lovely. It is like those big straw things and they're filled with like fudge, cookies and cream, cocoa, hazelnut. These look so good. I love the packaging. I saw this in the store and I imagined myself laying in bed watching the Polar Express and just shredding these. <laughs> Next up, I got some cranberry pistachio biscotti and I've had their banana biscotti, banana and almond, and their chocolate one. Those are really good. I'm a big fan of those, but However, I never saw this one until today. So I bought it and I'm gonna try it out. It looks really good. I love cranberry. It's really good. This would be good dipped in like a coffee. And there's pistachio. These are nice. Next up is the frozen stuff. So I got this teriyaki barbecue chicken. This looks really good. I've been wanting to try this for a while. So I'm gonna make that for dinner. And then I also got some of these mini chicken tacos. I've had these before. 
They're really good. And then lastly, I got these chicken tiki masalas. These are just some like quick things to throw in the oven for dinner. Love these. I love Trader Joe's frozen like dinner things because it's really, you know, convenient and tasty. <laughs> all right, fuck all that shit. This, this is what I'm really excited for. All right, y'all, so here's what the cans look like. I will say that these do look better than the other ones. They used to be all white, but now they're tan and there's more of like a detail on the cacti. I love this. Let's fucking do it. The only difference is, is these are 5% alcohol and the other ones were a 7%. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack open the citrus haze. I'm so excited for this, yo. Cheers. That's very good. This is very lemony, very limey. Holy shit. Definitely citrus haze. It's, it'll definitely like shock you and like fucking wake you up. When you first take that first sip, it's like electricity, but like, bro, that's good. That's like really good. Next up, we're gonna try the Tropical Twist. This is Pineapple Mango Punch. I think this one will probably be my favorite out of all of them, so. Nice, it's very mango. There's definitely pineapple in there. It's good. Still has that seltzer, like electricity, like ting to it but it's nice, it's not very, it doesn't like burn your throat or like burn your stomach when you swallow it. It's very smooth. Like I said, there is less alcohol in these, but I'm down for that. Next up, we got the Berry Splash. This is a strawberry punch one. Wow. This is actually way more strawberry than I thought it would be. Usually when it's like an alcoholic drink is strawberry, it's like really weak and like muted, but this is like a strong, strawberry flavor. You can like really taste it. Lastly, we have Paradise Slice. This is Tropical Fruit Punch. And honestly, I feel like this is gonna be my least favorite. So let me try it. I don't really like blue, like tropical, like punch type shit. I don't really know why, but I do have faith. Okay, it's definitely a fruit punch. It's not bad but I don't, like if these were sold individually, I would probably never buy this one. I don't know why. I just don't like that fruit punch taste. I like it to be very specific fruits instead of just like this like random, like made up fucking flavor. Like what even is tropical fruit punch? Like what is this taste like? It's a, I don't know, I just don't like that. My favorite one is definitely, damn, honestly it's a tie between these two. This tropical twist is good, but the strawberry and the berry splash one is like killer. Honestly, I'm gonna give this strawberry one my number one spot because it truly, truly shocked that this is like as strawberry as it is. You guys, I have just finished my second one and I feel like I'm on my fourth bitch. These don't fuck around. These will make you feel like you wanna run through a wall or kick a door down or some shit. I also just smoked this blunt. It is, <laughs> I just inhaled like five mini tacos and it's like, I think it's like 11 o'clock at night. I'm not sure, but it's late. It is <clears throat> late, bitch. It's real late. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. These are so good. I'm so glad these are back. I just wanna let you guys know, like you need to try it, bitch. You will not regret it. So, good night.